And good evening and welcome to the Upper St. Clair Varsity Hockey Game this evening where your Panthers will take on Pine Richland. I'm Kirk Carruth on your Panthers television network along with Tommy Howe on the camera. Panthers traveling right to left on your TV dial in their third alternate jerseys. A little Christmas-like, if you will. The red, white, and black stripes. And Pine Richland in the away white uniforms with the black and green trim. Panthers coming off a little bit of a slide here with a three and four record after a very, very fast start getting off to a three and oh record and have had four losses in a row. So we'll see if they can stem the tide here. We're gonna have a quick offside play here right at the blue stripe. But the delicacy of the season is if some of these players play multiple juniors and other leagues, so sometimes there are players missing or injured or suspended that could ultimately have an effect on the outcome here. So we'll see the Panthers uh, have played hard all season. We can see if we can get it back to 500 here. Good save in front, the Panthers will skate back out here with a three on two where Price will take it across the blue stripe. He tries to rag it between the defense, but to no avail. Play comes back to center and a good play. Oh, deflected in front, pull it with the shot, and that just whistled by the far post there. Panthers almost sneak one in from the left point area. Pine Rich will dump it in and chase to the bench. Price will just backhand it and the Panthers again will go on a wholesale lane change where McLeister is going to play it. Heavy hit he'll take, but that's going to be picked up on the near boards here. A centering pass right in front. Oh, what a save. Point blank from 10. And the Panthers, uh, Blyer answers big time. Taken by Daly, number six here, and he can get the motor going. Great stick handler here. Uh, we're on the far board right through the crease area, and the Panthers unable to connect, and right back on the attack comes Pine Richland. Pine Richland with the uh, better of the play here in the first two minutes. Be careful here. A centering pass and a good effort there by Blyer as he's going to steer that to the near corner board. Going to be taken here by number 61 for... Uh, uh, Lindauer, taken by Manalo, but he's unable to control, and he finally picks it up and gives it back to number six, Daly. Goes around to the far boards, but kept neatly in, and shot's going to go whistle wide by Blyer. Manalo's going to get there first. He dumps it around the corner. Finally going to be picked up here by our own number uh, 85, uh, Holbert, and he gets it back to center. 14.30 to go in the first. We're scoreless. Taken here by uh, number 18, Garrity. A little mini two-on-one breaks out shot. Oh, another good save there by Blyer, and he's been tested early here on multiple occasions. Back to the point where Garrity tries to chip it in. Gonna be helped out here. Be careful here, and into the <laughs> arena, and a good catch by the St. Clair fan, and he dumps it back on the ice. And that hit the Raptors right above us. Faceoff will be to the left of the Panther goaltender. 14.07 remaining in the first. Faceoff is controlled by the Panthers, where Goodman will look to play it, but it's going to be stolen here by number 92, uh, Voigt. Finally back to center where Proger's going to take it. That's going to go in on a delayed offside, but they'll check back up, and Pine Richland will skate it back to center. Dumps it off the center ice board and takes a weird carom here. Play's going to come all the way back behind Blyer. Going to be picked up here by the Panthers, where Sweet will redirect it back to center. Going to be picked off here again by number uh, 34, uh, Ryan, and he'll dump that in. Well, he'll finally come around where Sweet will look to tie it up, and he'll be helped out here by Goodman. And finally, the Panthers are going to skate it back and dump it the length of the ice. 
And they're going to wave the icing off. Panthers go on a wholesale line change here. He comes all the way back where Ryan tries to chip it in, unable. Taken by Giacobbe. He takes it across the center ice area right back in front. Oh, it's loose. Oh, and we have a quick whistle here. Referee lost sight of the puck. And it was clear that that uh, had come off the backboard and was still alive. I believe that was uh, referee, uh, I'm not sure if that was Weaver or Nunez, but he lost sight of the puck. And with 12.55 to go here in the first, they'll face it off to the right of the Pine Richland goaltender, Daniel Stauffer. Good effort there by uh, Price, number 88 at the right point. It's going to be taken wide, and the Panthers going to lose his edge. Centering pass, oh my. And number 28 was camped on the doorstep, no blow, but he was unable to cash in back to the point where Garrity will wrist it, blocked in front, kicked into the corner where Pullet will try to wrist it around the board, and that'll come all the way back to Rorick, centering pass to Giacobbe, and he's going to get ahead of steam. And he tries to split the uh, defense a la Mario Lemieux, but to no avail, and Stoffer will hold on, and with 12.16 to go, here in the first, we're still scoreless. Oh, big collision there in center ice where Manalo and uh, number 37 uh, Stutt go down. Play comes all the way back behind the Panther goal and a heads up play there by number uh, 37 Stutt again. Picks the uh, pocket of Daly, and right back on the attack come the Panthers, but skate back one against four. Boy, this Pine Richland team is pretty quick here. Panthers are going to have their work cut out for them today. Back here on a little th four on two develops here. He takes it wide. He tries to center it, but to no avail. Play's going to be kept in the attack zone. That was number 13 McKeever for the Panthers. Comes all the way into the corner where number seven, uh, Mark McQuaid will play it. Kick back behind the goal and Daly's going to take an aggressive move. Keeps it in. Helped out by uh, McKeever. Panthers will pick it back up where McQuaid will backhand it. McKeever skates to the bench. Aggressive play there. Rourke tries to pick his pocket. And right back to center come Pine Richland. Rourke out on an extended shift, and that's going to be picked up here on the uh, corner by uh, number 26, a Kasher. Swings it wide, and boy, a lot of these players really quick on both sides of the equation. And the skating skills here at the uh, AA ranks, certainly nothing to sneeze at. And again, Panthers and I believe even Pine Richland, both former Triple A hockey programs, and have now... Uh, Move down to the double A ranks. But there's no loss for competition. And they get his pocket pick, goes to the backhand, it's loose in front. And what a save again in front by Blyer. And he's tested again here early at the 1025 mark. Taken by uh, Giacobbe and gives it up for Rourke, and he's going to be in ahead of the play offside as he lost his edge, and the faceoff will be just outside the blue line. I think I lost my roster down on the first level. <laughs> I'll have to uh, gather that in as I was putting the glove on. 10.06 to go here in the first. Faceoff taken to the right of Blyer, goes into the uh, corner. 
Gallimus is going to play it, banks it off, and it's going to go into the uh, meshing again. And I'm going to run down and get the roster. Hold up. And I'm back. Price will take it on the uh, right wing and he swings it over to the loose Panther here. Play will be taken here by uh, number 18, Garrity. Shot's gonna go behind uh, Blyer. Nice moves by Daly, and boy, can he stick handle. Gives it back to McQuaid. A little wrister's going to go behind a goal. Centering pass in front, and a good effort there by Rourke. And Stoffer's going to hold on for a stop and play with 8.47 to go in the first. Went to put a glove on Tommy and my roster fell to the ground. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to go retrieve it because it is bitter cold in this ice rink. They certainly don't use the heaters here, that's for sure. Giacobi right in front. Look for a pull it here and unable to connect. Play will go through the uh, crease area. Be taken here by uh, Giacobi and he's going to wheel and deal. He's going to go to the backhand. He still has control and Daly's going to help out. Dishes it back to uh, pull it. Centering pass again by uh, Aurorik back to Daly. Panthers all in control here. Good little effort there by pull it. Penalty free game here so far. Centering pass tries to get connect with uh, Giacobi but unable to control. And finally going to be dished back to center. And that's going to be Pine Richland guilty of an icing play. And they'll face it off to the left of the Pine Richland goaltender with 7.49 now to go here in the first. Well, I had to get the other glove on just like my cameraman. It is bitter cold in here. And that's going to be shot into the meshing. And I think we've gone from summer right into winter. So it's been kind of crazy weather this year. 7.43 to go. Face off outside the blue line. Controlled by the Panthers. Taken across the blue stripe by Sweet. He's going to check up. He looks to get it back to the point where uh, Saleo is just going to bank it back in on a delayed offside. Comes over to the near board here. And that will be played ahead by... Number 28 shot, oh, what a glove save there. And Noblo wrists it from about 10. And Blyer with the quick left paw gets it up and holds on. And we'll have a stop and play again here with a face off to the left of the Panther goaltender with 7.24 to go in the first. Face off one by the Panthers, but unable to get it out where Garrity will chip it back to Voigt. Dishes it around the uh, near board, but that'll be picked up here by Saleo. Gets his pocket picked, and he's going to be helped out behind the goal by uh, McKeever. Play comes into the near board where McQuaid looks to mix it up with number 92, Voigt. Shot from the right point, Garrity with a blast. And... Blyer saw that one all the way, and he'll hold on with the easy save. And we'll do it again to the left of the Panther goaltender.
Richard Wilde will take the faceoff here at tack zone. That's going to be picked up by Giacobbe. Headman's the play for Rorick over to the right circle. Comes back to center where Price will wheel and deal and reset in his own zone. Dishes it over to Gallimus. And finally going to be picked up here by Rourke. First shot right on. First quality really good shot by the Panthers. And Stoffer makes it look easy. And again, he'll hold on with 6.28 now to go in the first. And we're still tied here at zero. Comes back to the point. Oh, my. Deflected in front. Shot by Price. And Pullet got his stick on it. And a heads-up save there. Left pad saved by Stoffer, And that easily could have given the Panthers the quick 1-0 lead here. Man, picked up right back on the attack. Comes Pine Richland. And an aggressive play to the goal by number 61, Lindauer. Oh, had a mini break there. And that's going to be cleared and shot the length of the ice. And they attempted to get Giacobbe in on a breakaway. But that pass was uh, unable to connect. And the Panthers will be guilty of an icing play here at the 5.57 mark. Quick moving first period here. No penalties and pretty much back to action quickly even when the whistle blows. Wide angle shot, an easy save again by Stoffer. Oh my, and a shot by Daly right on and another good save by Stoffer. Aggressive move by the Panther defense here. Gets it back, a deflection in front. Oh, it's loose. And another good save by Blyer. And the Panther defense helps out their goaltender and clears the zone. My, my. Good little scoring effort there by Pine Richland as a pretty much a two-on-one broke out. Going to be taken by Wild here. And he swings it wide. He's going to check up in the corner. Attempts to get it to Garrity, and he finally gets the wrister off from 20. And once again, Blyer heads up with the easy save. And they'll face it off to the left of the Panther goaltender. Quaid's going to take the draw, and that'll be won by Pine Richland with a quick little backhand shot, but stick the side be behind the goal by Blyer. He picked up here by Manalo, and he'll give it to his defense partner, uh, Daly. McKeever tries to headman it to, uh, towards McQuaid, but that play will be still loose in the neutral ice area. He picked up here by number uh, 73, Chestnut. Banked ahead by McQuaid with the hand pass, but that goes right towards the Pine Richland player, and we're going to get our first tripping minor penalty. And that's going to be guilty uh, by Holbert. Number 85 is going to get the gate. Two minutes for tripping. And Pine Richland will get the first power play here of the evening. Time of the uh, minor penalty at the uh, 432 mark. And the Panthers now will find themselves skating shorthanded five on four. Taken behind the goal, and that's going to come off his blade and a good heads up play by. Goodman and he'll clear it back to the center ice area. A little uh, nice four check there by MK. And skating back to center here is uh, number 26, a casher. Little give and go and a backhanded shot right on. Oh, and a couple little extracurricular whacks there. And Price takes exception. 
And he's just protecting his goaltender and he put him on his wallet. And Stutt's gonna go down after Price. Big number 88 gave him a little bit of a, a message here to get away from our goaltending. And good no call there by the official, let him play. Price took exception with the couple extra whacks and a big frame on number 88, wouldn't want to mess with him. And a little easy love tap put Stutt, Stutt down on the ice. Pretty fun to watch. Play's gonna go back to uh, number 77, Fulmer. Left-handed shot. And a head man to play over to the near board here where number uh, 34 is gonna play it, Ryan. And a good heads up play by the Panthers now with 50 seconds remaining in the Pine Richland man advantage. Outlet pass is gonna go by the mark and the Panthers just content to drive it back in the uh, zone here with 36 seconds now remaining. Wild's gonna take it and another miss pass gonna be taken here by Manalo. He's gonna swing it wide on a shorthanded situation. Tries to get it in front for Giacobbe. Unable to control and now Pine Richland very sloppy here in the last 45 seconds of their power play. And that should pretty much do it here with 10 seconds now to go. Panthers drive it the length of the ice here with 235 remaining in the first. Daly's gonna take it and he's gonna take it across the blue line. Back to skating five on five and a good shot on. Stoffer with the right pad save. Taken here by Giacobbe, banks it right back in, and Rourke's going to get there first. Going to mix it up with the uh, Pine Richland player. Comes all the way back to center where it'll be driven in back on a uh, delayed offside. Rourke's going to check up. Shot the length of the ice, and the icing's going to be waved off here. Shot's going to be cleared by the Panthers. And with 2.01 to play, Panthers will be guilty of an icing play. And the faceoff will be in the attack zone for Pine Richland. <laughs> Taken by McQuaid, the left handed shot's going to swing it on the left wing. Rister, and he tried to label the far corner. And once again, both goaltenders looking sharp here in the first period, and Stoffer makes that save. And he'll hold on, and the faceoff will be to the right of Stoffer. Panthers are going to go on a full change here with 1.52 to go in the first. Controlled by Pine Richland. Dishes it out, he tries to get it ahead to uh, number uh, 28, uh, Noblo. And Blyer's aggressively gonna come outside of his own crease. And he'll get to the loose puck first and he'll hold on. And once again, we'll have another face off in the Pine Richland zone. Face off controlled by Pine Richland, but Upper St. Clair actually was a good job to get it out of the zone. Going to be banked back to center right on the tape of Giacobbe, and he's got a trailer. And he, boy, he tried to get ahead to Rourke, and a little bit of interference there, nothing called. Play will come all the way back to uh, the right point here where Giacobbe keeps it in. Said ahead to pull it here, and this is a big number one line here. Back to center here where he'll skate right by Price here. Be careful here, no blow. Backhanded effort's gonna go high and off the glass. Big hit there by Pullet with one minute now remaining in the period. Rorick's gonna take the uh, right-handed shot to the off wing there. He's gonna get his own rebound. A centering pass right in front, he scores! Oh my, and you'd have to be here to believe that effort. And that was all on Rourke, and I think McKeever's going to get the goal. Number 13, and boy, Rourke got his own rebound, and he dished it out right in front. And I think number 13's going to get the tally here. The Panthers go up one to nothing. Time of the goal at the 50.2 second mark here. 
And Samuel McKeever should get the goal for the Panthers. Oh, they're going unassisted, but I think there's no way that goal was unassisted. That was all Rorick in front as he dished it right in front to uh, McKeever, and they might add that assist later here. And a good heads-up play by Rorick to get that play right back to center. Shot's going to go in the zone now with 17 seconds to go. And let's see what Pine Richland's made of. They pretty much have <coughs> had the... Uh, Better the shot opportunities early on with Blyer standing up to a big time first period. And that'll do it here, folks. The period's gonna come to a close. And a big time scoring effort here by the Panthers. And McKeever's gonna get that uh, first goal in a late tally with 50 seconds to go in the first. So we're gonna take a little break here between the first and second period. And we'll be back for second period action in a moment. Okay, we're back for second period action. Panthers leading one to nothing. McKeever with the first goal, his first goal of the season. And the Panthers now will skate left to right on your TV dial. A quick outlet pass is gonna go to number 34, Ryan. Good little heads up play there by Daly. Kicked in behind the goal, right back to the right point. He's gonna give it back to the left point. Swings it wide and a good little save there in front by the Panthers. And a little mini breakaway here as Sweet's going to take it down the left wing. The right-handed shot's going to check back up. He gets it to the point of shot. Oh, right on and a good save. And a good heads-up play by Manalo to get back into play. Taken here by uh, number seven, Madeline. Will be taken here by Ryan. He's just going to chip it in and chase to the bench here. Taken by Pullet. Pull it. Outlet pass attempts to get it to Yongo, but he's unable to control. Taken here on the near boards. He's going to get his pocket pick. Shot right on. Oh, my. And that just went wide. Wow. And I think that rang off the side of the post. Shot by number 92, Voigt, and he just binked it off the left post, and Panthers dodge a huge bullet there with 15.22 to go in the second. Man, the Panthers, if they can get this next goal, really have a little bit of a, bit of a breathing room here against a pretty quick team here in Pine Richland. Taken here by Pullet, and boy, I gotta tell you, the Panthers can skate Mono a mano with this team, that's for sure. Taken here by Daly, and he's going to take a big blast, and that's going to be redirected by the stick of Stoffer into the netting. And we're going to have a stop and play now with 14.53 to go in the second. Panthers enjoying a 1 0 lead. Tempted by uh, Roark to get that play right back to the center ice area. Just like the uh, McKeever goal. Going to be helped out here by uh, Roark. He gets it back and out of the zone and a heads up play there by the Panthers. They're just going to blast it back in on a delayed offside. Going to be picked up here by Saleo. Gives it up to number eight, uh, pull it. He gets an outlet pass over to Roark and he's going to have to beat two White jerseys, he gets the backhanded effort on and sticked aside by Stauffer. Play comes all the way back to the uh, center ice area here where number 18, Garrett, he's gonna rag it across the uh, blue stripe. He'll be picked up here by Giacobi. He's gonna try to bank it, he gets his own little pass into the corner. He gets it back to the point where Saleo will take it. Finally, he'll come back to uh, center where Goodman will have to check back up and he'll dump it in the zone. Played out here by number 81, um, Monaco. Gives it up to Stutt. It'll be back to the point here where the shot's gonna be directed in the corner. A nice stick save there by 
Blyer, and he's going to hold on. And, wow, another quick whistle here as the Panther defense kind of cleared that away from their own goaltender. But the whistle had blown, and with 13.28 to go, we're going to face it off to the right of the Panther goaltender. Shot right on, another big save by Blyer. And wow, is he playing good tonight. Point blank from five, and he made it look easy. Picked up here by Price. He's going to take a big move all in front, and the defense just got their stick down at the last second. And Price with a head of steam took it into the high slot from 15 and wristed it. But a good heads up play by the defense. And with 13.10 to go, they'll face it off now in the uh, attack zone for Upper St. Clair. Taken by Pine Richland, they'll bank it back to center and nobody home here. And a good effort here by MK as she'll redirect that towards the uh, blue line. Goes all the way in behind the uh, Panther line. Be taken by Gallimus, and she's going to rag the puck and gets it a nice little cross ice pass right on the tape of Giacobbe. And he takes and splits the defense. Oh, my. Probably could have been a little interference play there and a little bit of cross checking right on uh, Giacobbe. Nothing called. Giacobbe will get to the puck first on the far board. He'll dish it behind the goal. Rorick looks to play it. Kept in by MK, and that's going to go into the. Uh, Rafters, and we'll have a stop and play with both teams making a full change with 12.20 to go here in the second. Panthers clinging to a 1-0 lead. Panthers control the faceoff, blast it into the zone here. Good effort there by Yongo at the right point. Play comes all the way back, and we'll have a icing play here on Pine Richland. So we'll do it again. Face off controlled by Pine Richland. They'll get it back to center where number 46, Desjardins. And that's a classic hockey name. And he's going to wrist it right on to uh, the glove of uh, Blyer. And once again, both teams on quick changes here. Controlled by Pine Richland. The shot's going to go wide. That'll be picked up here by Holbert. Gets it back to center where that'll be kicked back in where Saleo will take it back. Play is still loose in the neutral ice area, and that'll just be blasted in behind Blyer, and he's going to be content to hold on. And we'll do it again to the left of Blyer here with 11.36 to go in the second. Another face-off win there by Pine Richland, but nothing they can do with it. Good quick defensive effort there by the Panthers as number 70 plays it around the corner. Play is still loose, gonna be taken here, shot right on, oh my, and what another big time save by Blyer. And once again, another very quick whistle here and that puck came off the glove hand side of Blyer. And man, is he looking good tonight with 11.13 to go. Another quality scoring opportunity there by Pine Richland. Picked 
Faceoff controlled by Pine Richland. Get a shot that's going to be deflected wide by the Panther defense. All Pine Richland here with number 71, Carnival, dumping it behind the goal. He's going to be helped out here by uh, Noblo. Taken here by Gallimus. MK is going to hold up the puck and dishes it off over to uh, pull it. Giacobi's going to dump it ahead to Rorick in a wide angle shot. Nice save there by Stoffer, and the Panthers get their own rebound here. Controlled by the Panthers, back to Price, and a shot's going to go wide. Little rebound effort there by Rorick, unable to cash in. Still controlled by the Panthers. Price, oh my, and he rings it off the post uh, by Price from the right point on a screenshot, and Stoffer didn't see that at all. And Pine Richland, boy, dodges a bullet, and they're content just to get it out of the zone. We picked up here by Giacobi, and it's all Panthers here for the last two minutes. Good little saucer pass by Price right on the tape of Giacobi. Going to dump it behind a goal where Rorick will mix it up with two white jerseys. And finally going to skate away as Pine Richland back to center on a two-on-two. -two. Taken by Madeline, he's going to look to center at a deflection in front and a good save again by Blyer. Gets it all the way back. Be careful here. Deflected in front. Never made it to the goal. And Panthers right back with McQuaid skating it back to center. He's going to swing it wide. He's got McKeever on a trail. And a little extracurricular. And McKeever did nothing wrong. Actually checked up and was mauled by about two or three players here. And he took a little exception to that. And they're going to skate away and let him play here again with 9.32 to go in the second. McKeever's going to take the draw and controlled by Pine Richland but comes all the way back to Daly. Was unable to keep it in at the blue stripe so he dumped it behind the goal. Panthers all had to come back on a delayed offside. Once again that's uh, in on a delayed offside here and McQuaid will have to come back and check up, and he does. Good little effort there, and a little breakaway shot on by McKeever as he's looking for his second tally of the game. Centering pass by number 85, uh, Holbert, unable to connect. Comes all the way back to the Panthers, Manalo, and he'll drive it in behind the goal. Panthers go on a mini change. Play comes back to center where that'll be played here by Number 37, uh, Stutt. Taken wide, Rourke goes to the backhand. He's gonna lose his control. And finally gonna be skated back to center by number 61, Lindauer. Swings it wide, but unable to connect. And that comes all the way back to the point where Stutt takes a shot. What a blocker save there by Blyer. And he had that labeled for the short corner. And Blyer comes up big once again. Right in front and a wide angle shot's gonna go all the way to the far board. Played behind the goal. All Pine Richland here, it goes back to the point here. Oh, and another shot's gonna go wide and we've got another man down here. It looks like we're gonna have our second minor penalty here. As Monaco wristed that from the left point and the Panthers here, looks like they're gonna be guilty of another Tripping minor penalty at the even eight minute mark. And Pine Richland will find themselves with the man advantage for the next two minutes. Pullet's going to get the minor at the uh, even eight minute mark, two minutes for tripping. And the Panthers will find themselves shorthanded by one. Controlled by Pine Richland. Oh, and they're going to even it up here. And with 10 seconds later, they're going to, Pine Richland going to get a little minor penalty here. So we're going to be back to skating four on four here. And we're going to have a, I think a holding minor penalty here to number 34, Alexander Ryan. Time of the penalty at the uh, 749 mark. So the Panthers will skate four on four and have a 10 second power play of their own.
Holding was the minor penalty. Back to the point where Monaco is going to shoot it on a screenshot. And once again, Blyer up to the task. And he's going to hold on with 7.28 to go in the second. And the faceoff will be to the right of the Panther goaltender. Bodies moving everywhere. Puck probably should not have been dropped. But back to the point, another good shot and saved there by Blyer at the receiving end. Still controlled by Pine Richland, right in the high slot. Going to be sticked away, and the Panthers are going to skate back two on two. And Giacobbe's going to take it wide, and he's going to be hounded by the defense here. He tries to get it in front. It's loose. It's still loose. Back to Saleo. Takes a shot, and that'll be blocked by the defense. And finally, they'll get it back to center. Taken here by Voigt. And he's going to head man the play over to a Stutt. Shot's going to go right on and another blocker save in front. And the play is loose. And another quick whistle here. And that rebounded. And actually Stutt kind of fell on the puck himself right in front in the slot area. And the whistle was blown with now 6.33 to go in the second. 34 seconds remains in the uh, Panther minor and 45 in the Pine Richland minor. So the Panthers will have an 11 second gap there once our minor penalty is expired. Shot right on, rebound, oh, just goes wide. Panthers with another good scoring opportunity. Taken here by Stud again, he's gonna take it and headman it, drop pass, oh, he rings it off the pipe. And boy, Big Ben struck one, and you could hear that all the way up here. A heavy hit there in the zone. McKeever's going to go down. And what a blast by Stutt. And he rang it off the left post. Right in front here, Manalo's going to take it. He's wheels the deal. It's a backhand rebound. Oh, my. And Daly in front was looking to get the rebound. And boy, the Panthers almost score there with a mini little power play of their own now with Five seconds still remaining. But man, what a blast by Pine Richland. And the Panthers still clinging here to a one nothing lead in the second period. Taken by Pine Richland, they're gonna ram it around the near boards and that'll come back to center where Madeline Looks to play it, but he's going to get picked off here by the Panthers. Yongo back on a two-on-one. Takes it wide. Shot's going to be deflected into the glass by Stauffer. Play comes loose back to center, and a good effort there by Pine Richland to get it back to the neutral ice area. Taken wide by Madeline, number seven. A backhanded effort's going to be blocked in front by uh, Goodman. Takes the backhand and gets it back to the neutral ice area. Cleared the length of the ice where it'll be played here by Monaco, number 81. On the near boards here to Madeline, assistant captain. Takes it wide, oh, and another good effort there by Blyer to get out there and pick off the old pass between the defense there. And he's quick to get that left paw down with 5.05 now remaining. Faceoff will be to the right of the Panther goaltender. Their face-off win there by Pine Richland. They control it behind the Panther goaltender. He looks for a little wraparound here. Going to take it in front. Oh, he centers it, but nobody home. And the Panthers try to get it out, but kept in on a heavy hit there at the point. Still kept in by Pine Richland. Blocked down in front by Price. Outlet right on the tape here of Rourke. And he's going to be kicked off the play. Shot right on. Oh, my. By And we're going to have a minor penalty here on an interference minor. And that shot was just going to go wide there, and another good effort there by the Panthers. But Pine Richland's going to be guilty here of their second penalty here of the evening. And that uh, will go on an interference minor to Nicholas uh, Monaco. And that time of that penalty will be at the uh, 437 mark. The Panthers now on a...
power play of their own. Well, this is where you make it hurt. Nice little effort there by Rourke. And once again, just unbelievable extracurricular. And this is where the officials need to really gain control of the game here. And actually they are. Good call there by the official. And boy, I tell you what, Pine Richland has just dug themselves a huge hole here with a after a whistle play, a roughing minor at the 432 mark. And now they're going to find themselves shorthanded here by two players. Time of that minor penalty will be at the 432 mark to number 73, a Cullen Chestnut. And the Panthers, the turkey is definitely on the table here, five on three. Good face-off win there by the Panthers. Taken by Daly, he fakes a shot and he's gonna get it over to the near boards. Taken by Price, shot right on, score! Oh, and he picked him clean! And you'd have to be here to believe that shot. And Rourke's gonna get the top shelf. Bomb, and what a shot by Rourke. And wow, make it hurt, folks. And here's the good news. Panthers go up two to nothing. And the one minute and 38 second minor is going to come off the mark. And the Panthers are still going to leave and be with a minor penalty against Pine Richland and still going to enjoy a minute 42 here on the power play. And this is how you make a five on three hurt, folks. What a shot by Rourke. And he tickled the twine from 15. And he roofed it past Stoffer. Face off at center here, controlled by Pine Richland, where Stutt's going to take it wide. Shot's going to go deflected into the corner. Taken here by Pullet on a power play opportunity. Price and Giacobi are going to get the assist to the Rorick goal, power play goal. Shot's going to go wide, where Giacobi will pick it up in the command position in the left face-off circle. Oh, and that's going to be kicked all the way out of the zone, and precious seconds will be off the clock here with 109 remaining in the man advantage. Panthers need to cash in one more time here with 335 to go in the second. Comes all the way over to uh, Rourke. He's going to take it down. He's got a trailer in Giacobi. He's going to check up. He gives it up to pull it, but unable to control. And a mini break here as Stutt's going to take the drive. Oh, and another good shoulder save there. And 37 can unwind it, that's for sure. Taken here by Rourke over into the right point. Just nonchalantly takes it across the, the area there. And a good play there by Price to keep it in. He mixes it up with Stutt and two big frames there in number 37 and 88. Taken here by Price. He's going to rag it all, and Stutt tried to play him, and good luck hitting number 88. He didn't even get phased. Still controls it. Leaves it back. He's still going to control it. Gives it up to the left point. Right tries to give the give and go, and a good effort, and the Panthers now find themselves with only six seconds remaining, and that should do it. But the Panthers cash in on one of their power play opportunities to take a 2-0 lead here with 2.30 to go in the second. Play's going to go ahead where Holbert tries to connect, but that'll be back to center. Bank the length of the ice, and that'll be picked up here by number six, Daly. Going to have a wrister. will come right on the tape of Holbert. Going to try to redirect it to himself, but it'll be helped out here by McQuaid, and he takes the left-handed shot on the right wing. will just go wide. Taken here by Goodman, and a good effort to get back into play, and a good play there by Goodman. Going to be helped out here by Holbert. Be careful here with a little bit of lumber at center ice. Taken across the blue line. Takes it in big time. Oh, nice save again by Blyer. And wow, is he seeing the play tonight? And he's going to make it look easy, and he'll hold on with 1.45 to go in the second. Face off one by Pine Richland, but picked off there by uh, Rorick on a heads up play. Gets it out of the zone. 
Comes all the way back where Goodman will play it back to center. Redirects it ahead. He's got Goodman on the right. Streaking down the right wing and number 77, now Fulmer will play it. Kept in neatly by the Panthers where Giacobbe will take it. Finally going to be picked up here by Pine Richland. They'll get it back to center. Saleo is going to bank it off the near board here right on the tape of Pullet. He's going to drive it down the length of the ice. Be hounded there by Giacobbe. Picked up here with 103 now to go in the second. Comes all the way back to center. Played in by number uh, 81, uh, Monaco. Shot's going to go wide. Helped out here by Goodman. Kicks it around to the near board, but still held in the zone by Pine Richland. Uh, we're going to have a weak call here. Going to have a little minor penalty here of tripping. And they're going to even it up here with 46 to go in the second. And the Panthers are going to find themselves shorthanded now as Pullett will get his second minor of the evening. A tripping minor. And Pine Richland will go on the power play for the next two minutes. Time of the penalty, 46 seconds. And if the Panthers are able to kill this for the remainder of the uh, second period, that man advantage will carry over into the third. Good individual effort there by Daly, our captain. And he took on two white jerseys and got it the length of the ice cleared. Play comes over to the far board where Stutt's going to take it. Oh, and they'll have a delayed, a little bit of an offside play. As just in ahead of the play was Price. And the Panthers had an opportunity there shorthanded. 23 ticks remaining in the second. And a minute uh, 37 in the Pine Richland power play. Good face-off win there by the Panthers. Blasted it into the zone. And Pine Richland maybe with one last rush here with 13 seconds remaining. Going to take it the length of the ice and he's going to shoot it right on and Blyer's going to hold on. And we'll face it off one more time with 6.6 .6 seconds now remaining in the second. Face off taken wide with three to go, and that'll do it, folks. A big time two first periods of play here by the Panthers, and they're going to find themselves with the going into the break with a 2 0 lead and a brilliant game here so far by the Panthers. So we're going to let them cut the ice in 17 more minutes of play. We'll be back for exciting third period action in a moment. And we're back. Second, third period action here. Pine Richland on the uh, power play for the next 41 seconds. Right in front. Good little effort there by the Panthers. Kept in, oh, nice play there by MK. He's gonna kick that out and force them all the way back into their zone. Blasted the length of the ice by Daly. Wow, what an effort. 15 seconds to go here. One last rush for Pine Richland. Panthers lead two to nothing. Taken by Lindhauer. He's going to try to rag it. And that's how you play defense 101 there by number 81, Goodman. Backhand effort again. Another good play there by the Panthers. And Giacobbe's going to take it. Headman's at a little bit of a break here. Rourke's going to. Go to the backhand, it's loose in front, oh my, and we've got the net off the mooring and players everywhere and goalies without sticks, and the whistle will blow. And they'll face it off with 15.35 here to go in the uh, third. 
Panthers enjoying a 2-0 lead. Just enough break, Tommy, to get your feet and fingers back with a little bit of blood in them. And it is bitter, bitter cold. Oh, my, right in front, and he rang it off the post. Pull it from 10. And Big Ben has been the goaltender's best friend here tonight with three or four shots right off the goalpost. Good effort there by Pullet. Wow, that would have been that would have been the icing on the cake, folks. Shot's going to be cleared the uh, length of the ice. Icing will be waved off here. Goodman's going to go back to play at number 81. Going to check up and give it back up to defense partner uh, uh, Saleo. Panthers just being very patient, getting it out of the zone here. Banks it off the near board right on the tape of Giacobbe, and he just calmly collects it here and picks up a head of steam. Tries to leave it for Rorick. Going to be helped out here by Pullet. He's going to keep it in. Back to the point, and that'll go by the uh, outstretched hands of uh, Price here. Goes down the right wing where... Number uh, 61, uh, Lindauer tries to center the play. Comes all the way around to the near board here where McQuaid will kick it ahead. Going to be played here by Pullen. He's going to take a big drive. Easy save by Stoffer, and he'll just drop it for the defense. 14 minutes to go in the third. Shot right on, and Stoffer's going to decide to hold on. And he'll face it off to the right of the... Pine Richland goaltender with 13.58 to go in the third. Oh, a redirect's going to go in! <laughs> and I think McQuaid's going to get the tally on a deflection right in front off the de defense of Pine Richland. And the Panthers strike again here at the 13.54 mark. And McQuaid's going to get the tally. And the Panthers go off to a commanding 3-0 lead here in the third. Kind of an innocent shot, but they say get the shot on the net. And indeed, it was deflected in front and went five-hole on Stauffer. And the Panthers now 3-0 in the third. McQuaid's going to get the tally. McKeever's going to get an assist. Two points on the night. And the Panthers now with a commanding 3 0 lead. Oh, my. And there was a good effort there by uh, Lindauer. He almost deflected that home. But the Panthers still clinging to this lead here. Panthers now just have to play heads up and let them make mistakes and take chances here. Eventually, Pine Richland's going to have to send in an extra defense here, and Panthers might find themselves on an odd man break. Play's going to come all the way back in the zone, and Daly's going to get there and kicks it around to the far board, but that'll be picked up here by... Pine Richland, oh my, he tries to wrap it around. Another good save in front, it's loose. Oh, and it's right on the doorstep and it's gonna go in. And the Panthers tried to get it on the goal crease, but it just went across the red stripe as Daly was there to try to help out. And Pine Richland's gonna answer quickly here in the third at the 1243 mark. And that's exactly what Pine Richland needed to do after being down three goals, they answer the Panther third goal quickly to make it a 3-1 game. And wow, they had about three cracks at it and no one was there to clear the zone. And Blyer made the first couple of saves, but he couldn't make the third one and it just trickled across the red stripe. And I'm not sure what's going on here. If uh, I think it is indeed a goal here, but it's not been registered. 
And we're going to have a minor penalty here. Well, you can't have a goal and you can't have a minor penalty. So maybe, unless it was after the play here, but this is interesting. There's not a goal registered here. And I'm not sure if one of the officials pointed to the crease, but maybe indeed it never did cross the red stripe and he was overruled by the other go uh, referee here. We're going to find ourselves with a minor penalty here on uh, Price and it looks like uh, Yongo is going to go in and serve. Perhaps it might be a, a 2 and 10 or something. A misconduct and, and, a, and a minor penalty on Price, but it does not look like a goal has been registered here. And if that's the case, what a huge break here by the Panthers as one of the officials indeed did register that it went in, but nope, it's going to, yeah, and they did, 3-1, to one. wow. So the tally is indeed 3-1, to one, and the Panthers find themselves shorthanded here for the next two minutes. So a little bit of extracurricular after the play, and Price is going to find himself with a minor penalty here. And the Panthers now have to be really, really careful. Big penalty hit kill here for the Panthers if possible. 12-19 to go in the third. Outlet pass comes on the near boards and a good effort there by Manalo. He's just going to easily dump it behind the goal. He's going to be hounded there by number eight, pull it. Going to skate it back to center where number uh, 18, Garrity, is going to take it. Going to be helped out here by uh, number seven, um, Madeline. Centering pass in front and they're clogging up the zone again. And a good effort there by Blyer. Sutt's going to get the uh, assist and Eggert's going to get the goal, number 76. In So we got a two minute head contact and a misconduct penalty. So indeed it was a two and 10 and Yongo's serving the minor penalty and the Panthers are gonna shoot at the length of the ice. 29 seconds remains in the man advantage. One last rush here for the Panthers where Fulmer's gonna pick it up. Gonna leave it here for Stutt. It's loose in front and Stutt's gonna take it down the right wing here, big time left-handed shot and he can pull the trigger folks and an errant drop pass there and a good play by McQuaid he gets it back to center and that'll do it folks back to skating five on five and the penalty is over and the Panthers now find themselves even strength shot right on and a good save there by Blyer and he'll hold on with a stop and play 10.32 to go here in the third Panthers still leading three to one Take over in January. I'll probably I, wait. You could be leaving if you yeah. are. I will. Yeah. I leave. I, I last game in December. I leave the day after Christmas. So, it's all you. I'll take over then. Okay. Right, yeah, I'm gonna come to. I'll probably come to. I'll come to the couple games. Yeah, I'll be gone. I'll be in Florida. Panthers are uh, taken here with uh, Saleo here back on defense. Good little heads up play there by Giacobbe. He's going to wrist it in and Stoffer's going to hold on. And the faceoff will be to the right of the uh, Pine Richland goaltender. Faceoff controlled by Pine Richland. But a good job by Rourke as he's going to keep it in the zone. Got three and four Panthers on the left wing here, digging for it. And it looks like Pine Richland's gonna win that battle. Good effort there by Goodman. Takes it across the zone where that'll be dinked in there by Ryan. Careful here, a little bit of stick work by pull it behind the goal and that'll come out to Giacobbe and he's gonna skate back and he Pulls a Linda Ronstadt, blew by you on the defense. 
over uh, McLeister. Centering pass comes right back to center. And that'll come on the tape here of number nine, uh, MK. And they've got six men on the ice and nothing called. Wow, they had six men on the ice for about, literally for about 20 seconds. And they dodge a bullet there as Pine Richland got caught up in a line change, but nothing called by the official. And we're going to have a stop and play now with 9.03 to go here in the third. Panthers lead 3-1. Taken by number uh, 28, and he's going to swing it wide. Uh, no blow. Shot right in front. Oh, my. And that went right through the crease. And nobody home to cash in. And Blyer's going to get the quick paw on it. But, boy, Pine Richland bringing everything in the kitchen sink here. And know that they need to get another quick tally here with 8.47 to go here in the third. Face off one by Pine Richland, but they can't, Panthers can't get it out. Taken here by Manalo and a good little backhanded effort right on the tape of Goodman. And he's going to neatly get it back to center where McQuaid, who has a tally on the evening, is going to take it across the blue stripe, the left handed shot. Picked up here by number uh, 18, Garrity. Comes all the way back to center, and Pine Richland will be guilty of an icing play. And the whistle will blow with 8.19 to go here in the third. The faceoff will go back into the attack zone for the Panthers. Back to the uh, point, and he's going to get his pocket picked here. Let Careful here. He can let it fly. Oh, and he rings it home. And I thought it went off the pipe, but it went inside the goal. And number 37, Stutt, and he can let it fly, folks. And he's already rung the post once tonight, and Pine Richland right back in the game here, 3-2. to two. Time of the goal, 8-11. And number 37, Stutt's going to get the tally. And Pine Richland right back in the game. Stutt's going to get his uh, seventh goal of the season. 12th point on the year, unassisted. And the Panthers now find themselves in a dogfight. Up three to two in the third. Taken wide by Giacobbe. Gonna control the puck and gets it behind the goal. And how big is that last goal by the Panthers deflected in front in the McQuaid shot. Taken by MK, he's gonna dish it ahead. Centering pass right in front, it's loose. Another backhanded effort right on, oh, it just goes wide. Panthers still control. Centering pass in front and Rourke tries to bank it in front, a la Sidney Crosby. Taken here by Pine Richland. They're going to take it back on a three on two. Ever, he's got a tally on the evening. He's going to shoot it high and wide. And a good effort there by the Panthers by Rourke to clear the zone. Panthers go on a change here. 6.50 to go here in the third. Taken here by Daly. Nifty little pass behind the Goal back to Saleo, and the Panthers with a good effort to get it back to center. Tick tock here, man, the Panthers just trying to hold on here. Saleo, nifty little play and gets it back, oh, not out of the zone, be careful here. Taken by number 92, Voigt, and finally comes back to the neutral ice area. Dumped back in by assistant captain Garrity, that's going to go all the way behind Blyer. Good play there by Holbert. He dishes it behind the goal, but unable to control his daily. Finally gets it back, and that'll come back to center. Here comes Sweet back with Holbert on the wing. Little drop pass gives it up for McQuaid, but nobody home. And right back on the attack comes Pine Richland. 
Shot's going to go high and wide. Taken now by Garrity and a big time check there by McQuaid. Play comes out of the zone where it'll be picked up here by number 28, uh, No Blow. And that's going to go in ahead of the play on an offside. And with 5.42 to go, they'll be whistled down and the faceoff will be outside the blue stripe. Panthers clinging to a 3-2 lead. Faceoff controlled by Pine Richland. A little backhanded effort goes to Wild there, but it's going to get picked off there by Manalo, and they'll dish it in where Rorick looks to play it. He gets the edge, misses the check right in front to Giacobbe, and Pullet takes a whack at it. But a good save there by Stoffer, and he'll hold on. And the faceoff will be to the left of the Pine Richland goaltender. Face off one by Pine Richland. They'll skate back two on two. Arister and a good save again made it look easy. Blyer. And a lot of whistles here late in the third. And Pine Richland will change the forward line. And they'll do it again to the right of the Panther goaltender. Nice little move, we got a little break here. Giacobbe's gonna take it, he's got Rorick back in a shot, right on rebound, oh my! Two, three cracks at it, and it's still loose. And wow, what an effort there. Giacobbe and Rorick on a two on one, right back, oh and a shot's gonna go wide, and a good defensive effort to get back in the play are the Panthers. Back to the left point, kept in, shot right on, it's loose! And Blyer says no. And with 4.49 to go, you can feel the tension in the building. What a save by Blyer. Exciting game. 4.49 to go in the third. Face off to the right of the Panther goaltender. Taken by McKeever, and he's got a big tally here on the evening and an assist. Shot's going to be kicked to the far right corner. A shot again right on, and Blyer making it look good again. Gets that left paw out there and holds on. Faceoff will be taken here by McKeever. That's going to be redirected towards the near boards, and the Panthers try to chip it out. Oh, and Garrity, oh, takes a heavy hit by Sweet, and boy, he put him on his wallet not once, but twice. And what a big time hit there by Sweet. And McQuaid takes his glove off and gives him a high five. And wow, how's it feel, folks? Welcome to varsity hockey. <laughs> 4.28 to go here in the third. Face off just outside the blue line. Taken by uh, Saleo. Dumps it back towards Goodwin. And a good effort there by McQuaid to clear the zone. All the way back where it'll be picked up here by number 81, Monaco. And Saleo with a little bit of a gamble here and McKeever's gonna check back. Gonna let him play here, and once again, just sweet throwing the big frame around all over the place, and a good effort there by number three, Sweet. Taken here by McQuaid, and he's held with no call. Right on the tape of Sweet, and finally gonna be skated back to center. And they're gonna be in ahead of the play as Ebert goes in offside. And that whistle will allow the Panthers to go on a wholesale change. And with 3.47 to go, offside will be facing it off outside the blue line. Panthers leading three to two. Oh, set play there. And Giacobbe on the uh, attack shot, score! Oh my, what a shot by Giacobbe on a set play right off the face off. And he's gonna tickle the twine on the right hand corner. 
And what an angle we had here, Tommy. What a shot by G-Man. 340, time of the goal. G-Man, Giacobbe, and gets that Panthers now to a 4-2 lead. Wow. What a game by the Panthers. Right back on the attack comes Giacobbe. Swings it wide. Be careful here, a three on one breaks out. Daly back, shot on, what a save by Blair. And he comes up big and holds on as he cradles it in the belly. And Panthers with a little aggressive play at the blue line. But Blair making it look easy. And he's gonna hold on with no rebound and the faceoff will be to the right of the Panther goaltender. Play will come all the way outside the zone. Gonna be shot right back in. Blyer is gonna kick it aside with the stick. MK is gonna check back up, skate it back to the blue line. And that's gonna go into the penalty box. And we'll have a face off just outside the blue line with 3.01 to play here in the third. Panthers lead four to two. What a shot by Giacobbe. A little set play, he jumped the route. And he took it down coast to coast and he one-timed it top shelf right over the glove hand side of Stoffer, and he made it look easy on a textbook water bottle goal. And gets that Panther lead to two here with 2.47 to go in the third. Taken by McKeever, unable to get it out. It's loose in front, backhanded shot. Taken by now the Panthers and they'll get it back to center and it looks like Pine Richland wants to gamble here. And they're gonna have to think about pulling the goaltender here with 2.26 to go. Bodies all over the ice, comes back to center and a good effort there by Manalo on a delayed offside. Oh, and a collision there. A couple knees collided but both players get back on the ice. Taken here, looked offside. Oh, deflected in front, wow. That just went by the mark and they had a backhand effort. He couldn't pull the trigger, loose in front. They're pulling the goaltender with two minutes to go here in favor of the extra attacker. Six on five, empty net for Pine Richland. Kept in at the point, deflection in front goes wide. Taken by Manalo here. Over into the far corner where McKeever will look to play it. Back as they'll control it, they try to center. Goes over to the near board with 140 to play. Deflection in front and Blyer's gonna hold on for a much needed faceoff here with 136 to play. Faceoff will be in the attack zone for Pine Richland. And indeed they're gonna probably consider taking a timeout here, which they do. Pine Richland will take a timeout and the clock's moving here. Not sure why, but the clock is Finally stopped at 126, and I think it was 138 or so before it wound down 12 seconds. But Pine Richland's gonna exercise their one and only timeout. And I think they still need to put a few seconds back on the clock here. They've got 130 on the board, Panthers leading four to two. And the faceoff will be in the Panther zone here. Looks like they're gonna leave it at a minute 30. And Pine Richland with the at hand task to try to get two quick goals here in a minute 30. And they're in favor of the extra attacker with the empty net. Face off controlled by the Panthers. MK can't get it out. Kept along the near boards where it'll be played behind the goal. Centering pass goes through the mark. Right back to the left point. Oh, and a deflection in front. And a good effort there by the Panthers. 
And Rorick's going to give up the body and clear it the length of the ice. Goes around to the near board where Ebert will play it with 105 to play. Going to skate it back to center here, still with the empty netter. Going to take it. He's going to try to get it back to behind the blue line, and the Panthers standing it up with one minute to play and an offside play as Stutt's going to take the big wrister after the whistle blew. But with 55 seconds to go, offside was called on Pine Richland. And that faceoff will be just outside the uh, blue line. And the faceoff will be taken here by Pullett. And what a nice effort there. He's just going to blast it ahead. And he gets it all the way behind the goal with 45 seconds now remaining. The four check by the Panthers is evident here. And a deflection's going to hit the rafter. And actually, I think deflected towards the goal. And I think that might have hit the rafter, but nothing called. But a, a little, yeah, it sure was a little waffle shot. And a good save there by Blyer with 37 and a half seconds to play. Taken by Pullett. Going to come all the way back to the point. Good little effort there by Giacobbe. Tries to clear it, and the Panthers are going to lead the rush with Daly. And this should do it, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, now we can relax. A ho-hum goal by Rourke. And he's going to get two tallies here on the evening himself. And the Panthers now with a commanding 5-2 lead with 24 seconds. And that'll take the Panther record back to 500 here with an incredible, impressive victory here against a very difficult Pine Richland team. And the Panthers pretty much answered the whole game. And to the credit of Pine Richland, they came back early in the third. But stellar goaltending by the Panthers tonight. And will be our number one star, Blyer, our goaltender tonight. And the number two star I've got to go to our two goal scorer. And that'll do it, folks, in Rourke. And we're going to split the number three star with the three remaining players with Giacobbe, McKeever, and McQuaid. As McQuaid had the uh, game winner big time early in the third. And wow, the Panthers now win this game with stellar goaltending and Rourke putting on the Ritz and Giacobbe with a textbook goal as well. But the two big goals came by McQuaid and McKeever to get that Panther lead up to three nothing. So very impressive victory here tonight for the Panthers. And we're gonna let them skate away. I don't think we have another home game till the middle of December. So wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Kurt Carew for signing off with a big time victory tonight here at the Ice Castle, along with Tommy Howe. Good night, everybody.